had to fix Google Search Console page indexing issue called duplicate without user selected canonical. Now, to be able to fix this, we need to understand how Google looks at the URL structure of a website. That is what canonical URL is all about. You can read the Google Search Central to learn more about how Google looks at canonical URLs. I'll try and simplify. Most content management systems automatically generate canonical URL. If you press on Control U on your keyboard to see the source code, you may see something like this. Link, rel, canonical, and a URL. You know, different parts of your website. Let's look at a blog post example here. You can see that's a canonical URL. So therefore, to be able to fix duplicate without user selected canonical, we need to understand what this means. Basically, Google is telling you, okay, user selected canonical, that's here. As in you as the website owner is the user. And if you select the canonical, that's what user selected canonical means. What I've just highlighted. This is user selected canonical. This is user selected canonical URL. So Google Search Console is saying, you know what? Although you have selected canonical, there is a duplicate URL somewhere else on your website. As in, there is a duplicate without user selected canonical. That means some parts of your website does not have that link. And there is a duplicate URL that Google is seeing. So all you need to do to be able to fix this issue is make sure you look at the example URLs here. In my example, this is not a problem. But obviously, if you're seeing this for your website, you'll have some examples here. You can press on the example URL. You can inspect the URL. As in, use the URL inspection tool and so on. Okay. So therefore, all you need to do is make sure that is generated. Telling Google, you know what, Google, although you may see a duplicate URL, duplicate content on my website, I'm specifically telling you this is the canonical URL. So use this as the canonical URL instead of using, you know, different canonical URLs and so on. I know it can get confusing, but some search console issues for page indexing, they are cumbersome if we don't understand other things as well. So to, to be able to fix this, first thing, do this. Look at all submitted pages. If you have no issues here, you can perhaps ignore all known pages. Now, all submitted pages, where do they come from? They come from your sitemap. So to fix that page indexing problem, just make sure that the sitemap you've submitted to Search Console is the sitemap that has original content. I'll show you WordPress example. Or if you're using Shopify, it's similar. Most website owners use sitemap plugins and so on. Or they use sitemaps generated by the content management system. Right? And that's actually not smart in most cases. In this example for WordPress using Yoast as your plugin, sitemap functionality, sitemap underscore index dot xml that's the parent sitemap for my typical blog i should not submit this to search console why is that because let's take a look at this example posts blog posts i want google to index these urls right for pages i want google to index these pages but category sitemap, there is nothing unique here. 
So therefore, I should not submit the parent sitemap that's going to include this sitemap as well. So there is parent-child relationship in terms of sitemaps. Now, all you need to do then is ensure the sitemap you have submitted to Search Console contains the URLs that has original content that you want Google to index and rec. Because that's going to avoid a lot of page indexing problems. Not just duplicate without user selected canonical. Okay? So to fix that issue, first explore the reports. You know, surely all submitted pages is what you want to look at. Not all known pages because Google is efficient search engine. It can look and find a lot of different URL patterns on a given website. And they will be under all known pages. So what you want is you want to make sure all submitted pages don't contain this problem. Because if it does, then you need to ensure that your content management system specifically blurts out canonical URLs telling Google, you know what? Here's the user selected canonical. Not website visitor. You as the website owner is the user selected canonical. That's what this is. I'm the user of search console. And this is the selected canonical. Now, if Google doesn't see this and end up sees, you know, duplicate content on a website, then it's going to blurt this out. Saying, you know what? We found duplicate content. There's a duplicate URLs on your website. As in different URLs with same content. And you did not tell us the correct canonical. That's why it cannot find the canonical URL. It's getting confused saying, okay, there is, let's say, five different pages URLs with the same content. Which one do I show to Google searchers? Therefore, duplicate without user selected canonical that's what it means and to be able to fix it first ensure oh, the sitemaps you've submitted contain original content and i can tell you from experience most people simply submit the parent sitemap and that's not what you want to do you want to just double check your website whether you have a blog whether you have an e-commerce site you know pages products they should be indexed you know collection pages, paginated pages, they shouldn't be submitted to Search Console. Because if you do, then you end up seeing a lot of page indexing problems anyway. Then next step, look at all submitted pages because you've submitted the correct sitemap. Then make sure your content management system generates canonical links here for the URLs you want Google to index. Then your website is set up correctly and duplicate without user selected canonical issue will be fixed. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.